Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and despite being a little under the weather, I'm actually in quite a good mood at the moment because uh, this game just got updated to uh, version 0.29, I believe, and this update was fairly large in comparison to uh, some of the more recent updates. Uh, the main thing being all of Ecritique City was uh, completed, I believe. Or, well, <clears throat> all the main stuff in there at least. Such as the, uh, the Burn Tower, uh, the Tin Tower, and uh, the Gym, obviously. Are like the three big things I think of off the top of my head. And uh, so, all three of those have been completed, which is really nice. <clears throat> kind of losing my voice a little bit already <laughs> but I was just so excited about this that I felt the need to go ahead and record it but um, hopefully that doesn't hopefully that didn't uh, weigh, weigh me down too much I guess or whatever you uh, that's probably not the right wording Wh whatever the phrase is you know but yeah so uh, I'm probably not making any sense right now um, anyways so yeah I'm going to go ahead and take on the first of the main parts of what you're supposed to do I guess basically and that would be take on the burn tower so oh I think my Pidgey should potentially be evolving right n or well not right now but after this battle it should I think I could be wrong on that but uh, I'm fairly certain of that um let's see here should I use I'm just gonna use my my Croconaw for now anyways um so yeah, there should be, well, a rival battle coming up, and then I assume that since the a, uh, the burn tower has been implemented and it's supposedly completed, that means I'll also see the, uh, the three legendary dogs there. I assume that that part is implemented as well, but I don't actually know for sure yet, so I'll have to uh, find out, I guess, when I get there. Anyways, um, the only other, well... Actually, not the only other thing. There was uh, something. Oh, well, trainers got added here in the uh, Route 37 or whatever route this is, 38. Um, and then hey, I'm gonna get a Pidgeotto now. That's pretty nice. A green Pidgey. Uh, yeah, a green Pidgeotto as well. Even better. And um, whoa, oh, whoa! I have like, okay, that is like the coolest looking uh, shiny Pokemon I've seen in a while. I've never actually seen a shiny Pidgeotto before. That's pretty cool with the the golden like feather things on the top of its head, but uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty nice. Anyways, it looks it looks pretty awesome falling behind me too. Anyways though, um, yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, the update still. Okay, so the um, the other major update I guess you could say is that uh, obviously all these trainers were added. The trainers on the next couple of routes were added, and even Olivine City has been added. Now, unlike Ecritique City, Olivine City isn't finished yet. Like, I don't... I assume, from what I understand, from, like, what I was reading or whatever in the updates page, it doesn't sound like any, you know, like, any of the buildings are in, uh, enterable yet or anything like that. Um, at least, certainly not the gym and the lighthouse and stuff. Although, I believe they are still there like they're still present you just can't you know progress in the story there yet but you know the fact that that's already been done along with Ecritique City and everything in there is kind of nice I guess I think I said in maybe the last video or the one before that or something like that I kind of would have liked to see the bike shop implemented but it's you know that's obviously not that big of a deal because it's not really that relevant to the story and I can still get around pretty good you know even without the bike or running shoes or anything like that. So, yeah, that pretty much covers all of the major updates, I think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, like even remotely, uh, rem that, you know, that was updated, but, uh, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. So, yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be taking on the burned tower in this part. So, I will make my way in that general direction and looks like some of these buildings aren't enterable yet but you know obviously from what wait yeah that doesn't look right though I thought the burn tower is a little bigger than that but maybe maybe not I assume this is it yeah well that's weird <laughs> the snow is inside here that's kind of strange 
Uh, there's Usine or Usine. I don't even know how to say that guy's name. So, evidently he's obviously been implemented already, which is interesting. Oh, I like how it just started snowing. Whoa. I guess it doesn't have a roof? Is that supposed to be like that? Or... I don't really know. It's kind of weird. Switch to first person. Huh. That's the tin tower over there. Um, I... That obviously is completed. I don't think, or at least I wouldn't assume that the story for Ten Tower is completed yet because obviously that doesn't even really come for quite some time later in the actual story. Uh, I'll talk to Morty here, I guess. See what he has to say. And... Okay. So he's not going back to the gym, I don't think, until after I find the legendary uh, the legendary dogs. Which will be shortly after I fight my rival right about here? Question mark? Maybe not. Uh, or, or Ratata. I guess that works too. I mean, or at least I should be fighting my rival somewhere in this general area. Um, hmm. Weird. Okay, so... Don't know where my rival is. But... Yeah. Huh. That's gonna take a second to figure out. Because he should, like, engage me in a fight, like, right in that general area where I was just standing. Even, actually, like, a little bit before that, like, right around here, I think. Unless I missed something. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's up here. No. Oh, wait, there he is right there. But how would I get over there? That is the question. Do I go around the other way? It's kind of weird, though. I was like, I don't know how to get over there. Uh, I know I mentioned it in the last video, which I wouldn't be surprised if anyone didn't, you know, no one watched it probably because it was pretty boring. But uh, in the Ruins of Alf, that was quite a bit different than what it is in the actual, uh, like the actual, um, the gold, silver, and crystal games. Um, which I thought was kind of strange, but yeah, I guess I just go around this way. That's different. I'm curious as to why these changes were made, if they were just made for the sake of, like, you know, like, mixing it up a little or something, maybe, or, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it just makes me wonder, really. Not like I'm really complaining or anything, I think it's interesting. I actually don't really mind it, because like I said, it kind of mixes things up a little, instead of just basically playing through the same... You know, gold, silver, and crystal, or heart, gold, and soul, silver, really. It's kind of a mix of both, like I said, but, you know. It is what it is, I guess. Anyways, I'm trying to think right now of what Pokemon my rival has. Well, obviously, I know he has Meganium. Er, well, it, I don't think it's a Meganium yet. It's probably still a baby. But I got Ice Fang to take care of that, as well as my Pidgeotto, actually, now. Who, wait, no, I healed up my Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, for a minute I didn't think I stopped at the Pokemon Center, because that would have been pretty bad. But my Pidgeotto should be able to take on that Bayleaf decent enough, I would think. Anyways, I guess this will be kind of a short video. I could go ahead and do the, uh, the, uh, Ecritique Gym. Well, it would be short if I didn't run into a wild Pokemon every three steps. I think I have a Repel, but I'm just too lazy to use it, <laughs> quite honestly. Because I didn't think I'd have this much, like, Pokemon that I'm running into, but whatever. Anyways, wait, where'd my rival go? I swear, <laughs> maybe he's up a little further, but... Anyways, though, yeah, I I know for a fact that you don't go, like, all the way wrapped around here. Well, I shouldn't say no for a fact. Because my memory could just be, you know, eluding me or mi misleading me there. That's probably the better word choice. But, uh, yeah... I, I mean, like I said, I know you fight your rival in here. I just didn't think it was in this exact area. I thought it was over to the right a little bit. <laughs> rival Dinbus. Uh, I'm still mad that, that the G... It should be Dingbus. But the G didn't register when I was typing in. So it looks kind of dumb now. Alright, so he leads off with Ghastly. Ooh, it's a little 20. That kind of concerned me that his... Oh, mean look. Okay, I don't really care much about that move because I'll probably kill it off here. And Yeah. <laughs> One hit KO with bite. Uh, that wasn't too difficult. I really probably should balance out the levels of my Pokemon a little bit more. Because right now they're pretty unbalanced. Do I have anyone that wants to... No. I don't have anyone good to fight this stupid Magnemite. Huh. 
Well, this could be a problem. Hmm. I'll just I'm gonna switch into Bellstrat here and see what I can do. Maybe I can like put it to sleep or something. Because I can't poison it either, which is <laughs> another relative problem. Oh, it's only at level 18 though. That's that's kind of nice at least. Nothing else. And I got it to sleep, which is even better. So let's see how much Vine Whip does. Probably next to nothing. Oh no, it did something. So I think I'll go ahead and leave uh, my Bell Sprout in here. Get him a lot of experience. And oh, I woke up already. But see, it probably can't. Yeah, Thunder Shock. That's gonna do surprisingly more than I thought it would. Uh, 15 damage. That's kind of a lot. That's weird. All right. I don't know what that's. I, I still think. I mean, I guess. Bellstrap probably doesn't have amazing special defense or whatever, but it's just a little weird that it doesn't do that much. Then again, though, I'm doing a surprisingly large amount with Vine Whip. I thought I would do next to nothing, because I'm pretty sure Magnemite has pretty decent defenses. I mean, he's a steel type, or part steel type anyways, so I would think that would make a bit of a difference, but whatever. Hopefully he didn't use, like, a Hyper Potion or whatever here. That would make me kind of miffed. Okay, good. Killed it all. And I should be at level 18 here, probably. Oh, of course not. So close. Yeah, at least this will get some of my Pokemon some experience. In case you haven't noticed by now, uh, with all the struggling I've done against like the gym leaders and stuff in the past, I'm not a huge fan of grinding. So <laughs> my Pokemon are pretty usually in the lower, lower levels of what you know the kind of range that you probably should have them in at, at most times it's so like in all reality if I wanted to actually take on my rival and actually be somewhat competitive looking or whatever I sh my Pokemon should probably be at least level 20 I would say all maybe a couple level 18 or whatever but I mean I think I have whatever it is two now I guess that are at level 18 and then my Croconaw which is just at like level 26 or whatever so I probably should have a little bit more balanced team and i Probably will do a little bit of grinding sometime in the uh, the off time or whatever that I have, whatever you want to call it, I guess. And um, hmm, the question is here: Do I want to paralyze it or poison it? Hmm. Decisions. I am going to. I'm just going to try poison it with poison sting here. I guess I could go for the glare, but I mean, it's like whatever. Also, you know, part of. Re I shouldn't say I don't really care, but part of the reason why I just do whatever, really, is because, uh, you know, obviously I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, so... I mean, I guess you... Ah, oh, crud, it has Reflect. I hate that move. Alright, well, I'm guessing Poison Sting is going to do next to nothing now, so I might as well try to go for the pair of flinching again, which is kind of a staple of my strategy. Anyways, that did an uncomfortably... Well, I guess he is at level 22, five levels ahead of me. But uh, Bite's actually doing a lot more than I thought it would, especially since it's a physical move. It's kind of... Oh, wait, he, he just used Reflect. Well, no, that wouldn't matter. Because Reflect only raises your defenses once, I think. Anyways, though, um, yeah. I <laughs> part of the reason why I didn't do any of the... Uh, um, any grinding between the last part and this part is because... Uh, well, first of all, I've been kind of busy like recording other videos and stuff like that, and I just haven't gotten around to doing this one you know, any grinding for this one, because I wasn't sure if there would be a good update uh, next or not. But, since there is a great update, and that thing looks awesome, but since there wasn't a really awesome update, and I assume the next update is going to be awesome, I'm probably going to work a little harder at trying to do a little bit more leveling up here. Uh, off camera, of course. But, oh, I almost grew another level. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm just really rambling on right now. I'm just so excited about this awesome update. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll try to be a little better. And, or, you know, have a little bit more balanced team. I don't know about for the gym leader. Maybe a little bit. I think I'll level up my Rattata a little bit. Because, uh, I could probably use it pretty advantageously against the gym leader. But other than that, I probably will wait to level up my other Pokemon until after the gym fight. Just because I want to get to the gym fight. And... Quite honestly, like I said, I just really wanted to play through this update because there hasn't been a good one in a while. This looks pretty cool. I like the uh, the camera angle they have going here. What? Uh, no, I thought maybe it would change from like each each Pokemon, but I guess not. 
<laughs> I have to say though, it looks cool, but it's weird that they're like walking on air when they walk off that cliff instead of like walking down it. And it's also weird how they go transparent like that. But I mean, I'm not really <laughs> see like that. It just like walks off in thin air, like levitating across the cliff. But uh, yeah, that was pretty cool, I guess. I guess I'll just go down here. Hey, there's uh, Yusin. I guess I'll talk to him. Yeah, I dug a hole here. Shot. Race by blah, blah blah. Thank you. Alrighty. So now we should be able to enter the Ecrity Gym. I guess I should have mentioned that beforehand. The fact that uh, you can't enter the Ecrity Gym until after you, uh, after you do all that and find. Or maybe I did mention it already. I don't really remember. But yeah, you have to find uh, three legendary dogs and like activate their little cutscene type thing there before you can move on and battle the gym, which I will do in the next part. So, like I said, I will possibly consider, uh, well, I'm getting kind of turned around here. I'm trying to find the Pokemon Center, but um, I will possibly consider trying to level up my Rattata a little bit and hopefully use that against the, uh, the gym here because obviously it's all ghost type Pokemon and they will n basically probably not even really be able to touch my Rattata. So that'll work out pretty good hopefully. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this part up. So like always, uh, if you like this video, uh, I would really appreciate it if you dropped me a like or subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you would like to see more of my videos including my future video on the gym battle or whatever for the next episode and yeah that's pretty much all i have to say i guess so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and thanks again for watching